Hi, hello. Uh, welcome in the path of teaching, in the path of study, uh, which I labeled International Economics. And uh, it is specifically addressed to the students uh, of uh, major international business and major international relations and cultural diplomacy uh, at the masters, so at the graduate level at the Andrzej Fritz Modrzewski University in Kraków. For those who don't know me, for those who meet me for the first time, uh, my name is Krzysztof Waśniewski. I am assistant professor with the Andrzej Fritz Modrzewski University in Kraków. And as this winter semester 2020-2021 goes very largely online into distance learning, I decided to record a series of lectures in the form of videos just to give you additional content which you can view and review at your pleasure and leisure uh, without necessarily attending those classes which we have scheduled on Microsoft Teams. So, let's waltz, let's introduce it. So, uh, in that master's curriculum of studies that you are going through, you have two courses. In the first year, you have product management in international business. And then in the second year, you have international economic transactions. And uh, these series of, of videos, so the series of videos which this video is the first of, is pertinent to those two courses. We'll follow a similar path of research. So I consider that for students who had that product management in international business with me last year, the course of international economic transactions will be like a development, like second step in the development of skills. Okay, so let's go. Due to, let's say, the business and economic context that we are in right now, in those two courses, so international economic transactions and excuse me, I move myself a little bit, and uh, product management in international business, I decided to focus on one specific topic. So I propose you all, all my students in those two groups, to do research on business opportunities as regards the development of digital technologies at the international scale. If you follow the news or if you just notice how much more Zoom or Microsoft Teams uh, you have been using those last months, I, th I think you know what I am talking about. So we will go into this. Now the question is how we will go into this. So students complete those, excuse me, no, three, two courses. I made a mistake, okay, in those two courses. By preparing projects, which can be prepared single-handedly by an individual student or in teams of up to five people. Uh, the general topical line is that development of digital technologies at the international scale. In each of the, once again, Two, not three. You see, as I record those videos, I correct myself. It is a great way. In each of the, of the two courses separately, all the individual projects combine into one platform of communication and exchange. So what we are going to do is very much business-like. In business, it is done like that. Different people have different ideas and they put all those ideas like into the same basket. It creates some like a creative brainstorm uh, of business concepts. It is a common stream of research. It is something like an accelerator of ideas and business concepts. So we do it for real. I want to be very specific. I am very much attached to this topic, to this stream of research. So the development of digital technologies. And I want to stress very strongly the fact that in those two courses, so product management in international business 
and international economic transactions, we do that thing for real, that thing about digital technologies. So those online classes and all our interaction is supposed to develop real workable business concepts. And we will integrate research on international economics, the market of digital technologies on, in general, and the techniques of business planning. As for your resources and readings, I plan to use with you two or three essential like, streams of resources. First of all, you have those presentations and video lectures from me. Secondly, we will be working together and you are strongly encouraged to work on your own with the research papers and reports on the topic of digital technologies. And finally, we will be heavily involved uh, with exploring the investor relations sites of companies involved in the marketing of digital products and in the development of those technologies at the global scale. So, for example, we'll pay a visit like to Microsoft, to Apple computers, uh, to, let's say, for example, to Zoom, whatever is involved in that marketing and development of digital technologies at the global level. So, in connection with my courses, now I place in the center of that video window uh, three bullet points with references uh, to excuse me okay with references to uh, three resources which you have from me like right now so besides the content specifically addressing this path of research so besides the content labeled international economic transactions or product management in international business you have, first of all, you have my basic course of business planning, uh, which I made available uh, on my blog, Discover Social Sciences. Here you have the full link. You can find this link in the PowerPoint presentation, which goes together with this video. Besides, I encourage you to visit uh, and to watch a video lecture on business models in the media industry. It is entitled Business Models in the Media in Industry Number 4, The Gaming Business. There I study the case of a Polish company, CD Projekt. Students who had the course of product management in international business with me last year are somehow familiar with that case because we did it in class. Uh, it is good to to pass it in review once again because it is very like symptomatic very representative for uh, the ways that the development and marketing of digital technologies goes on or the way it is being run at the business level and finally i recommend you it is the third bullet point i recommend you to go and visit and watch my video called uh, My Investment Experience, My Teaching and My Science Number 4, The Copernic Project. Uh, it is a video where, in a separate series where I connect to my own experience as investor in the stock market. And in this specific video, I study the so-called Copernic Project, which is a Polish startup in the field of digital technologies and it can be quite interesting as a business case. So the way we work together, important points. Let me just magnify it so it fits nicely into the window of the video, okay. So the, boys, the basic form of our online contact is a group on Microsoft Teams with meetings scheduled as per your timetables. Each meeting on MS Teams starts on the scheduled starting hour of the class, sharp. So it is, for example, 10.30, we start 10.30 sharp. And the basic duration, the baseline duration of such a class on MS Teams is around 45 minutes. 
45 minutes is essentially enough for me to do like a roll call among the students to answer the most pressing questions and to touch like the most pressing, the most current topics. We can extend it uh, beyond 45 minutes to the extent of the need. If we have additional topics to discuss, we can go longer than 45 minutes. Now, you can see that in your schedule, those classes last much longer than 45 minutes. Uh, they last like three hours or four hours or sometimes. It is a buffer of time, which if we need really to talk about something thoroughly, that buffer avoids overlapping with other classes that you have with other teachers on MS Teams. You can contact me via email all the time. So it is uh, my email, which you can find also in the presentation, which goes together with the video. It is kvasniewski at afm.edu.pl. You can use that email for all kinds of individual issues. And if for some reason the officially scheduled classes on Microsoft Teams are not sufficient or are cancelled, we can arrange something else, either via MS Teams or via Zoom. It is all to, to arrange. And finally, the timeline and the general way of working together uh, on those projects of yours. So the month of October is supposed to be devoted to the introduction, revision on the fundamentals of business planning and economics. Now, by the end of October and beginning of November, I would expect us all, the group in general, to make like the first map uh, of the business concepts you, my students, plan to develop on for your graduation project. The month of November is supposed to be devoted to the refining of those concepts, like to make them more articulate, uh, more articulate, more informed, more structured. And from December 1st up to the end of the semester, so like up to January 25th, we start working at like a cruise speed of a two week cycle of progress. So every two weeks, I want to see either on my mailbox or uh, on the chat of MS Teams, either a file from you or a link to a file that you send me with some kind of documented progress from your part. Every two weeks, each of you documents some progress on the projects you are working on. Now, uh, as for, uh, so you are supposed to present me essentially four drafts and then the final version of your project. Uh, for your drafts, you can use many forms of expression. You can use regular text, documents, presentations or videos. The final version of the essay or the business plan needs to have the form of a regular document like in Microsoft Word. If you feel like adding a video, you can put a link to the video in the document. Okay, that would be all for that first class. I hope it was somehow useful. I hope we will have fun together in that class. So, as for having fun, as usually in the concluding part of my videos, I wish you to have fun with science and to have fun with life. Bye.